or to lose a little weight. Those are fighting words in my circles, uh, which is, uh, you know, I come from like 10 minutes away, so not big circles. Coach also said Des could play as early as this Sunday when the Saints play the Bengals. Here is Des Bryant after practice yesterday. We wouldn't want to play, you know, with Drew Brees. You know? Not taking away from nobody else, but you got a guy like Drew Brees. Like I said, you got a guy like Michael Thomas, Watson, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram. Got those types of guys, you know, little baby goats, you know, around here. I'm going to always be me, you know. Um, uh, who I am, you know, and I'm um, not a bad guy. You know, I've always been a good guy. You can ask my teammates, you know, my ex-teammates, um, how I am. I, I love the locker room, you know. Um, it's like it's like family. Every locker room that I've been, at, been in, you know, from, you know, middle school, high school, college, is out to the to the pros, has always been like a family. You have a, a natural bond. It's more than just being in a locker room. It's outside of it, too. What's the vision that they've had for you um, in terms of just what you're going to do for this uh, You know, um... Um, I'm leaving that up to coach. You know, um, whatever you have for me, you know, I'm be, uh, you know, I'm getting myself ready for it. All right, CC. We know that Sean Payton said he'd like to perhaps use him this week, but how soon before he can actually make an impact uh, in this offense? I think a couple of weeks. Now they could throw him out there. Yeah, but, uh, I mean. I they could throw him out there, but I don't believe, especially with some of the stuff that he said. Now, I do believe Sean Payton, from a coaching standpoint, he has an advantage. Yeah. When you have a player like that, is he going to play? Hey, I might, man, I like him. Oh, man, he's looking good and everything. He's at practice. I would make the Bengals prepare for a Des Bryant. I would make them look up some film of what Des Bryant does well. I would eat up the time that we have because in the NFL, everyone's got the same amount of time. But if I can make you spend more time doing more things, how great are you going to be at the really specific details? So I believe Sean has an advantage in doing this. I still think it takes a couple weeks. Now, Drew Brees, can he get Des Bryant open? Can he throw him open? Yes, I do believe that, but I believe he will be compromised and he would set himself up for another injury that would give him a setback that they might not see him play until December. So for me, I would be concerned. He missed Wednesday's practice. He was at yesterday's practice Thursday, which is a very intense practice. The, um, today's practice is not that intense. And then on Saturday, they're going to be traveling. So I wouldn't expect him to play this week. But as we talked about, in a couple weeks, they got one game circled on November that calendar. November 29th. Where they're going back to Big D. And I'm sure that at that point, Sean and Dez have talked about potentially probably that being his coming out party. A couple days ago, Dez Bryant, they needed him to lose weight, right? Yes. About five pounds heavy. He's not playing this week. What Sean Payton was doing there where he says I'm open-minded is the thing that, that Jason Garrett and Jerry Jones and the Cowboys should have done with Amari Cooper, which was leave some doubt about what the status is going into <laughs> the game. Not tweet the game plan. Well, and so the, when the Cowboys traded for Amari Cooper, they were so heavily criticized for giving up the first-round pick. They told anyone who listened, oh, not only is he going to be worth the first-round pick, he's going to make an impact starting this week. He's going to be featured this week. So when the Titans were preparing for the Cowboys, they knew that wasn't going to be wasted time. Mm -hmm. They they weren't studying Amari Cooper film kind of half in, half out, like, ah, it should we be doing something? Something else they knew they were gonna have to use it now so i think he is doing what using to his advantage the idea that they could use sure. des bryant for the exact reason c is saying but it wouldn't make sense for him to be able to play right now when i came out of retirement i had played 15 years i decided to retire when in broadcasting the miami dolphins i thought it was after week number six on a monday night game they lost three receivers their general manager rick spielman called me on that tuesday as the team finally got back down to Miami and asked me, hey, Chris, what kind of shape you're in? Now, I had decided to retire. I was working in television, working here in New York City, inside the NFL, on HBO. And he asked me, what kind of time could it take me to be in shape? Now, my mind had retired. Now, I still had a pretty good workout regimen, but my mind had retired. Dave Wanstead was the coach then. And they said, that, man, we're going to bring Chris in. I think he needs to lose a little bit of weight. But, you know, I believe that, man, we might be able to see it. It's promising. We went to practice. Pat Sertain and Sam Madison were playing man-to-man. -man. man, I had one of those kind of days immediately after practice. Dave Wan said, said listen, we're going to get you ready. You're going to be starting. You're going to play. Now, I was 37 at that time, 36, soon to be 37. 
Dez is 30. Dez's mind and body had not retired. So if he was able to play before that and play a limited role, yes, I could see it happening with Sean Payton. Norv Turner was offensive coordinator then. So Norv came up with a little package and got me ready like after a bye week, which is still one week um, longer than Dez has. But I'm just saying, I, at that age, at 36, Dez is 30. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done, especially you have, have to have an offensive-minded coach like Sean Payton to be able to take care of him. Listen, I, I, that's an awesome story. Here's why I don't know how much of it applies in this situation. By your, the end of your time in Minnesota, see, you were teaching the offense to people. By the end of your time in Minnesota, you were, when the quarterback didn't know what the play was or couldn't spit it out, you were spitting out for him. You had co You were, by, by the middle of your time in Minnesota, the t or halfway through it, you were all pro wide receiver doubling as wide receiver coach mentor for Randy Moss, teaching him how to play your position. Dez is none of those things. That's not a knock on him. It's a compliment to you more so because what you were doing was above and beyond. So I say that to say this. I do not, even if he's football ready, even if his body's ready, is his mind ready? Is he, is, he, is he able to do things that aren't going to slow down the Saints' operation? Are they, 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 they don't necessarily always pay, That's play. That's a good a, question. They, they don't always play at a super fast pace, but they like to be able to. And so things like that to me are, now, could they potentially, if they're going to activate him, have him just for jump balls in the end zone? Right, if we get to the five yard line, have him go on the far side of the field, something he's always been very good at. Like that, I don't think you could screw up. So, yeah, potentially, but I wouldn't see us, I don't see a scenario where he plays this week. So, to piggyback off what you're saying, which was what I was going to ask, and you guys make a great point with this, I was going to say, well, what can Mike, a guy like Michael Thomas learn from Des Bryant, who's been in the league? You know, De we know about Michael Thomas, phenomenal work ethic. He's in tremendous shape, doesn't need to do anything else at this point, and then you have a veteran like Des Bryant come in, could he serve that role in some capacity this weekend? You have to realize, Michael Thomas, he's had one of those kind of, I wouldn't say a charmed life, but he's been around sports because his uncle's Keyshawn Johnson, who happens to play wide receiver. So Mike, Mike, he's been traveling around with football players. He's got relationships with other guys. I'm sure that there can be some connective tissue to what happened to Des Bryant around the middle of his career. And when he sees Michael Thomas, He's going to be like, man, I have never worked with a wide receiver who works harder than Mike Thomas. His workout, even at this stage of his career, Drew Brees talked to me about it. Sean Payton talked to me about it. It's infectious to the other players there. So I do believe that there is something because Dez played at a high level and he did it. Man, I'm sure that there's some type of regret, and I'm sure that Dez coming in there, he know that's Mike's room. Right. He know that, that that's his team. He know that Mike is on the come up as far as getting a new contract. So I'm sure Dez, and you could see yesterday, I had never t heard Dez in, in Dallas locker room say, hey, man, whatever the boss say, you know, right. no, 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 no. Yesterday, you could see he knows who the boss is, and that's Sean Payton. All right, listen, America, I'm going to reveal a, few, a little confidence here. It's Friday. My man C has felt had a great week. He's feeling very happy. He's excited to watch some football. He's being very nice right now. And C also has been critical of Des Bryant in the past, and now he's getting another chance. And Chris, no matter what interpersonal relationships are, Chris is always rooting for guys to succeed. So I'm going to say what part of Chris's brain wanted to say but didn't. Man, Michael, Michael Thomas doesn't need to learn anything from Des Bryant, except for maybe a few things of what not to do if you reach the heights. Michael Thomas, keep doing what you're doing. Don't let maybe Dez can learn a few things from Michael Thomas. That's what he wanted to say. But well, we got our troops in the studio. It's Friday. He's God in a bless great the mood. Our boss God is bless here. The so he's kind of put a positive baby. spin on everything. <laughs> Michael Thomas, you don't need to learn nothing from Dez. All right, man, you just keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. If you can help Des out a little bit, that's fine. <laughs> God bless the troops. Yeah, there and you there go. you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, period, point blank. Coming up, could the Patriots be on upset alert after winning six in a row? Ooh, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to stop talking to you. That's for real. That, would just, that just happened. Yeah. Yeah, your access just got.